Hey guys, Dave Kincaid here. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Um, but six months ago, I started something called the Alberta Grant Gazette. I think I sent out one email uh, about it. And some of you replied back and said, hey Dave, you know, tell me a bit more about it. Um, I haven't said anything about it really in the last six months as I just kind of built it out. I thought today I'd just kind of show you uh, what it looks like after kind of six months. And it was really meant to solve the problem of uh, new grants coming out, uh, reminding people of grants, and um, coming to you in a consistent, timely way. So what happened is I started publishing this thing uh, twice a month, the 1st and the 15th, and it's really helped me stay on top of grants, which is important. And um, anyways, I send this out to a small list of subscribers and they almost all open it, which is pretty cool. And I just thought, what the heck, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So this is one coming out on the 15th. And uh, it's crazy, uh, at least I think it is. So let me just walk you through this. So I was just give a little blurb. Um, if you're gonna hire someone for summer, you gotta do it now, because um, the deadlines are coming. Uh, I just give an overview of just some tips that I won. I was fortunate enough last week I had a client with a hundred thousand bucks, and uh, just explained how I how I did that and what they hopefully can do to improve their grant applications or your grant applications. Um, and then it just goes by sector. Now these are uh, gr grants are really disproportionately um, given to certain sectors over others. Like if you're a retail brick and mortar, um, not a great sector for grants. If you're a consultant, you're a great sector for. Uh, to be an eligible expense, but not to receive a grant. But these other sectors, um, there's a lot of grants. So I, we always include something with ag, um, and as well as the deadlines. So and then there's arts and culture. Uh, employment's a really big one, and because I'm my background's research, so it's kind of what I love doing the most. Um, you know, there's regular summer grants that many of you have heard about, but there's also like another group of grants that most I didn't even know they were at out there until like I build a grant database. So um, there's a whole bunch of grants for uh, hiring summer students that isn't the Canada summer grant, but most people don't have no clue about that. Um, and then I, we always have, of course have a section on clean tech, um, exporting. Um, there's a lot of funding for exports, whether it's trips or, or um, you know, partnering on something on a, well, expanding to new markets, I guess I should say, but uh, partnering with researchers, something to do with Korea this week. Always a section on indigenous uh, organizations, um, nonprofits, and municipalities. Like municipalities get a pile of grants, and like this week we're looking at um, electric vehicles. They can get grants, so they're accepting applications. Uh, post secondary, of course, I got some uh, uh, one post secondary institution that's given me a testimonial Concordia. They really, really like it, so shout out to them. And then tech get a ton of grants. Um, events are a big deal in um, in in grant agencies because you can go there and you can meet them and build a relationship with them. And so I always try to put the big conferences that are coming up. And then business awards for a lot of companies out there, um, I always strongly recommend hey get winning awards because a lot of times when you're in the grant business and you're submitting something and they don't know you from a hole in the wall, so. Uh, usually it's the same copy that you could use in a grant that you can use in a business application. So, um, you know, I've got clients that are whatever business entrepreneur of the year. And then, you know, they submit an application for something clean tech. And I always like how that third party recognition. So we always have the track and business awards. I always give you a business update a government update. My background's in politics. So I got a, a master's degree in politics and worked at the legislature as many of you know. So, I always just kind of like to see how grants are going to play out in and there's this big decision that you might have heard of the federal government's making on the uh, large oil sands project up north and I just I'm gonna be, it's going to be pretty interesting to see what Trudeau does there with grants. And then the last thing is uh, urgent deadlines. So you can see it's just insane as I grow this um, and it's just by deadline date. So February, just this massive grant tracker and it just continues on and on. So super cool. And there's a link to my book. 
but that's what I do. I publish it out twice a month. It's been taking most of my time um, because usually I would email my list a lot. Those of you who've been following me for years, but you can see how much work this is. So I'm putting a lot of work into that every two weeks. So that's why you're not hearing from me as much, but I'm trying to uh, get this done and also get you more content like I am today and hopefully help you win grants and pursue your dreams. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Uh, hope you're doing well. Feel free to email me back with any of your grant questions. I get many emails from you and I try to answer them all. Uh, and if, I, if you're reading this and I didn't reply to you, uh, I apologize. Sometimes if I'm writing a big grant, I just can't get back to everyone. But just shoot me an email again and I'll, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Okay, thanks a lot guys. And I hope you have a really great day.